Number 10, I will ensure that every community in America is prepared for terrorist attacks and natural disasters. We, we are vulnerable at our point of least preparation. And terrorists have demonstrated, and I've been investigating and studying Islamic terrorism since 1975. And here is the, um, here's the difficulty, and here's uh, the understanding we need in dealing with it. They are looking for ways to attack us that they believe we haven't thought of or that we're not prepared for. If you look at uh, the two cases in the last month, the attack on the uh, soldiers at Fort Dix, the planned attack on the soldiers at Fort Dix, or the planned attack on JFK Airport, the jet fuel pumps and the jet fuel line. They're looking for ways to attack us that we haven't thought of. So we have to think of everything, and we have to be prepared in every one of our communities in America at least to have a baseline of preparation so that they can handle the first couple of hours or the first day of an attack. Because if, God forbid, there were an attack here, it's all up to what the local firefighters and the local police officers can do in that first hour or two that's going to determine how many people live, how many people die, and it's going to determine the way in which we look at that attack and how competent or incompetent America is. And that has a tremendous amount to do with also winning this war on terror because it's a war of spirit also. Because that's what they're trying to affect. They cannot defeat you physically. This is a different war than the Cold War or the Second World War. It's a different war. They, can, they do not have the resources to defeat us. They can't come here and take away our freedom. They can't match us with a nuclear attack. That would do the devastation that the Soviet Union could have done or others. So what do they do? They try to kill large numbers of us, but really the purpose of it is to shock us, to destroy us to keep us confused, to make us weak again, to destroy our economy, to do things like that that affect also our spirit. So the way we respond to a, an attack is enormously important to whether we win this war or we lose it. The way in which the firefighters and the police officers on September 11 responded to the attack, their immediate response of going in, holding their ground, saved the spirit of America. It really did. If the story the next day had been police officers and firefighters running away while everybody else ran away, the terrorists would have achieved the victory they were looking for. And those police officers and those firefighters and those rescue workers and those civilians who stood their ground saved the spirit of America. Every... Every firefighter, every police officer, every rescue worker, and every emergency services worker in this country, I've met many of them, are capable of doing what the New York City firefighters, police officers, and rescue workers do. They do it every day. We just don't get to see it. They do it every day running into burning buildings. They do it every day running into crime scenes. They do it every day, saving people with heart attacks. They do it in the smallest town and the biggest cities. They deserve the federal government making certain that they are at a level of preparation so that if the attack happens in the smallest town in the United States, they're ready for it. And remember, when we think of September 11, we think of the World Trade Center, the attack on America's largest city. We think of Washington, D.C., the attack on America's capital. Not as many people think about the attack on Shanksville, Pennsylvania, one of America's smallest towns. I went there. I went there for the high school graduation that followed the attack. In other words, the, year, the, the first uh, school uh, group that had graduated the year after the attack. That plane went down in a field that just could easily, just as easily have been that high school. It was the bravery of those people and and, I, and God's will, that it ended up being an empty field. But that fire department had to be ready to deal with the worst attack in the history of this country, just as much as the New York City Fire Department had to be ready for it. It is the responsibility of the federal government to make sure 
that all of these communities, all the communities of America, have what I call a baseline of preparation. We'll evaluate it, we'll measure it, we'll make sure they're all there, and the ones that are not, we will bring them and help bring them to that level. Both for terrorist attack and for natural disaster. That's a commitment that we make, and it's one from my prior experience, I can guarantee you, we can bring about, and we can bring about very, very quickly.